Hello everyone and welcome back to my team for the season finale of season two. Yes, with James Hunt and the Heskiff Racing Team. Now of course there will be a season three, but it will be the last season of the F1 2020 Championship. And to celebrate, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for a full race season, the full 21 races that would have been in 2020. And there's going to be some exciting livery changes as well for our car, for anyone who knows about James Hunt's history. So here we are at Mexico for round 15 out of 16 for James Hunt in of course our Heskiff racing car and let's see what time James is going to put in on his first qualifying run at the moment it's second place but 1.2 seconds behind Daniel Ricciardo in the Renault car. As we accelerate forward a little bit later to qualify you can see that Hunt is now down to 16th position. He is two places ahead of his teammate though Tatiana Calderon. Yes Tatiana Calderon. But let's see if he can improve on his time. Well, he's slightly up on his delta, as you can see. Almost half a second now as he crosses the line. Yes, up into 13th place now at the moment. Fantastic. As we accelerate forward now to the last dying seconds of qualifying. And as you can see, he's still up on his delta time as well. Gets a warning for exceeding track limits. So still in 13th place. Oh, wowzers. 8th position at the moment for James Hunt, 8th place. So qualifying is now over. He's just limping across the line because he's run out of fuel, actually. And he's still holding on to 8th place. Is he going to improve or is he going to drop down? Well, he's not going to improve, of course, because he was well down there. Uh, oh, my God. I don't believe it. How can you drop from 8th to 16th? For, for flipping sake. Welcome along to the most popular city in North America and home now to the Mexico City Grand Prix. It's a sellout crowd as usual here at one of the shortest circuits on the Formula One calendar. So who, I wonder, will the crowd cheer on today to the top step of the podium? The Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, 2.6 miles of track that allows drivers to take full advantage of their cars, reaching speeds in excess of 220 miles per hour. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Verstappen, Ricardo, Pierre Gasly, and Norris, Sainz, Kvyat, Leclerc, and Sebastian Vettel, Perez, Albon, George Russell, and Stroll, Hunt, Grosjean, Kevin Magnussen, and Tatiana Kolderov, Giovinazzi, Ocon. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Delatraz and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. So here we go then, the penultimate round of the championship as the five lights go out for the James Hunt career mode and we say go, go, go and it's away he goes from 15th on the grid. He's got Lance Storm, my goodness, look at this, he's being mugged off by the cars behind once again but he's holding his ground in 15th place. Lance Storm is ahead of him, we've got a lot of cars ahead of him, in fact we've got Albon Wilk and weaving all over the track, weaving all over the track, we're going to turn one but James Hunt goes for a move down the inside as he get through for the faster Ferrari, yes he does, oh, contact with the house car, that wasn't James Hunt though, that was the Ferrari, I do believe leave but he manages to sneak his way through sneak his way through and he's up there to 10th position he's up into the world championship points already on the first lap of the grand prix and chasing charles Leclerc. he's gonna go for a cheeky little dive in inside yes he does all oh, contact with daniel kvyat and uh, always oh, parking the bus in the middle of the circuit once again is daniel kvyat he's up there to ninth position ninth place for the hunt still on the first lap of this grand prix at mexico yes mexico and still chasing daniel kvyat and of course that Alpha Tori guard, he goes a little bit wide there. This, this section is very, very complicated to do. You have to get it just right, otherwise you end up completely fucking it up, which is exactly what James Hunt did there. But we continue on, still the first lap and still chasing Kvyat in the Alpha Tori. Still got cars behind us, it is now Charles Leclerc in the Ferrari. He's battling like crazy with uh, one of the racing points. Oh, there's contact the racing point, tries to get past James Hunt there, but didn't quite manage to pull that manoeuvre off. And James Hunt holds on to his position on the first lap. It is Sergio Perez. Yes, Sergio Perez is currently now in 10th place. Hunt now up into 9th position on lap 2. Lap 2 as Perez is desperately trying to get past at the moment, but he can't quite manage to do so. 
as it's now time to accelerate to lap seven. Yes, lap seven. Real, no real changes in position, and we still hold the ninth place. Leclerc behind us. In fact, both the Ferraris are behind our Heskiff Racing team. But look at this. Charles Leclerc's looking very, very angry, trying to move down the inside of us, but we managed. Oh, no. A little bit wide there for James Hunt. As you can see, Charles Leclerc once again tries to get past. He doesn't quite manage it, but he's going to get the inside line. Oh, but look at that. James Hunt cuts his nose off. He's got Sebastian Vettel now. Is he going to get past? The oh, yes, he's OK. Oh, a little bit of wing actually shot up there. I think that was from Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari. But that also means that James Hunt holds on on lap eight to this ninth position. Now, you may notice he started on a harder tire, so he's going to go for a very, very long run as we accelerate forward now, still on lap eight. And it looks like Sebastian Vettel's going to try and see if he can sneak down the inside of James Hunt. Oh, this is going to get very, very dicey. There's contact there. Contact. Well, we managed to hold on to the position, I do believe. Oh, Vettel's still trying, though. Still trying to get past James Hunt. But yes, so he holds on to this ninth place on lap eight. As I said, he's on the harder tyre, so he's going to go for a very long stint before he has to come in for his pit stop. And that means a lot of the cars in front are going to come in as we accelerate forward now to the end of lap eight, just going to lap nine now. And you can see on the mini map, the cars have come in. This is, of course, it's the soft runners coming in for their stop. We are on the medium tyre, so we can go a little bit longer for James Hunt as he goes past the pits but now our pit strategy is now open but we're going to hang it out I do believe for a few more laps and James Hunt goes up into fifth place now as we accelerate forward out to lap nine going past the pits again there's more cars come in in fact I think three cars have now come in so James Hunt is going to go right the way up into third position yes and look at this everyone just coming out of the pits I don't believe it it's the blessed one himself Lewis Hamilton Sir Lulu has now come in for his pit stop and got back out again before we've even come in for our stop. How on earth does he do it? How does he do it indeed? As we accelerate forward out to lap 10 and we're still going to stay out for one more lap because there's one more car coming. That's Valtteri Bottas, of course, in the other Mercedes. But look at this. He's come out of the pits. He's come out. Are we going to get the jump on Bottas? I think James Hunt's going to dive down the inside. Yes, he does. Battery Bottas. He's got nowhere to go. Oh, this is going to get dicey. Let's not do a George Russell here. Let's not do a George Russell. Well, he goes through cleanly up into second place now. Hamilton still out in the lead on lap 11. As we accelerate forward now to the end of lap 11, we are finally going to come in for our pit stop. No, we're not. We're still going to go around. I don't believe it. Well, we've only got 36% wear on the tyres, so there's really no uh, opportunity. Well, I say there's no, there's no reason to come in but I think he's he's gonna uh, rue that decision because he's getting absolutely mugged off by the cars behind him that's Bottas gone past Pierre Gaze has gone past under the DRS but it is James Hunt gonna oh onto the grass there for James Hunt there's contact absolute contact oh no, it's carnage he's off the circuit but he rejoins but he's lost a huge amount of places now now down to fifth position he tried to shortcut the circuit there but didn't quite manage to put it off and uh, he lost out on positions as he comes in now finally for his pit stop on lap 13 uh, currently in seventh place I do believe eighth position but he's going to lose a few more places because cars are now going to go past because he did lose quite a bit of time in that little scuffle with the cars ahead anyway on to the soft tyre now for the remaining stint he's got a little bit of damage to his wing as well on the left hand side and that's not going to help him at all but now it's time to rejoin the field and it's time for the fight back to begin Okay, on to lap 18 now. As you can see, unfortunately, James Hunt tried his all, but he couldn't actually get back into the points of this Grand Prix. So it looks like he's going to finish in 11th place. Lewis Hamilton, the blessed one himself, has already won the race, as you can see. So it looks like nil point for James Hunt for the penultimate round of this championship in the Heskiff racing car as he's being absolutely strouded now by uh, Valtteri Bottas who's trying to get past and steal this I don't know why he's trying to steal 11th place because there's no points on offer but there you go as we now come around the final corner the fireworks are going off in the background and James Hunt crosses the line and disappointing has to be said 11th place 
Oh well, never mind. On to the final round then. On to the final round. Driver of the day went to Esteban Ocon. Fantastic. And there's Mr. Toto Wolf, the Terminator. Is your... Stop it now, Dave. Stop it. That joke wasn't even funny the first time you said it. Just leave it now. Leave it. Okay, okay. So out of his car now gets Lewis Hamilton with his purple helmet. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> and there's the team mechanics at Mercedes. Congratulating themselves like they only know how to. There he is on the top step. There's Lulu. Pierre Gasly in second place. Wowzers me trousers. And of course, Maxi Boy Verstappen in the Red Bull in third position. Yes, it's another trophy, Lewis. It's another trophy. Just get that champagne spraying over everyone. Just do it, Lewis. Just bloody well do it. And he does. Fantastic. Or sensational. Yes, bloody sensational. Anyway, let's have a look at the points after that round. We're currently in sixth position now with 100 points. Max Verstappen way out in front with 255 World Championship points. Yes, no chance of catching him now of this championship. So here we go then, and we're going to move on to Brazil. James Hunt's favourite racetrack, which is quite uh, a coincidence because it's the Hooks' favourite racetrack as well. <coughs> So, qualifying time at Brazil. Let's see what Mr. Hunt's going to put in. I think he's going to put in some pretty decent times, as to be said. He crosses the line for his first qualifying run, and it's wowzers. Look at that. Almost equal to Verstappen's time. Fan bloody tastic. Fan bloody tastic indeed. We accelerate four down a little bit later to qualify, and you can see James Hunt's down to 11th place now. He's not improving on his delta time either, so it looks like it could be an 11th place start for the race at Brazil. Yes. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anyway, we will see now as we now accelerate forward now to the end of qualifying. He's just slowing down as you can see. And he's down to 12, so he's not going to improve on his delta time. So are we going to hold on to 12th position for the final round of Season 2 of the My Team Championship? Or are we going to drop right the way down to about uh, 17th again? Let's have a look. It's going to be, it's going to be 15th place. 15th position for the race. Okay, let's do this. Formula One returns to Sao Paulo once again with the stage set for what promises to be another classic Brazilian Grand Prix. Sebastian Vettel famously clinched his third championship here in 2012. And in 2016, Max Verstappen treated us to one of the finest wet weather drives of all time. In Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Gasly, Leclerc, Sebastian Vettel and Norris. Sainz, they've taken a grid penalty. Stroll, Verstappen and Alexander Elbon. Fiat, Hunt, George Russell and Ricardo, Perez, Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen. Calderon, Ocon, Latifi and Louis Delatraz. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. OK, so the lights are going to go out for the final time for season two of my team as we say go, go, go. And it's away he goes from 12th position on the grid. We've got Kvyat off to the right hand side. Alexander Albon's in the mix as well. Is James Hunt going to sneak down the inside of some of these cars? Yes, he does. I think that's Lance Stroll off to the right. A little bit of contact there with Lance, but he managed to get through. Yes, up into eighth position. Gets a warning for a collision with Stroll, but he manages to sneak his way past and up down to eighth place. Next target is Carlos Sainz. We've still got the cars right behind us, as you can see in the rearview mirror there right behind us trying to get past now they're slowing down a little bit ahead there's a little bit of a trolley train appearing a little bit of a trolley train 
And let's see if we can get past this trolley train and get up into some serious... Well, oh, it goes a little bit wide, though. Does James Hunt a little bit wide and that uh, gives the opportunity for... Oh, what was he doing there? Wowzers, mid-trousers. What a dive from James Hunt there. Gets a warning for a collision with Vettel. I'm not surprised he actually gives the place back to Vettel just in case he gets a warning for actually unsportsmanlike behaviour or something. So he gives the place back to Sebastian Vettel. So he's still holding up a moment to uh, seventh position. There was nothing there from the stewards, but he just thought he'd better give the place back just in case anything happens later on in the Grand Prix so still the first lap now Vettel now in front of Hunt and Carlos Sainz is the car in eighth position now as we're about to start the second lap of the Grand Prix and Carlos Sainz in the McLaren is looking very very angry of course his car is further up in development than this car at the moment so he's got the ultimate speed on James Hunt so he's just going to see if he can just defend, defend, defend against Carlos Sainz. We've got to out lap two, lap two. Got the yellow flags come out. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on, but the yellows are out. I think a car may be off somewhere. Green flags now, it says, but I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I haven't seen anything on track to see what's happened. Oh, Daniel Kvyat is now, and the safety cars come out. The safety cars come out, and that means James Hunt dives straight to the pits. Wowzers, that safety car could not have come out at a more opportune moment. Straight away, James dives into the pit, so he's going to get a free pit stop out of this. Wowzers, that was absolutely fantastic. So he comes in for a pit stop, he's going to of course drop right the way down to the back of the field, but he's going to be in the box seats when they resume, because all of them are going to come in for their pit stop, apart from James Hunt, because I don't think anyone actually had the foresight to come in right then. I don't think they did, no, they all went past, because the safety car came in uh, out at a very, very quick uh, moment there, and it caught them all napping, caught them all napping. So resuming now for James Hunt into the field on lap three behind the safety car queue. As we accelerate for another lap four, still behind the safety car, but it is now going to come in. So every car in front of us has got to come in for their pit stop. Let's see if James Hunt gets the jump on the TV. Yes, he does. And Louis Dale tries to, and teammate Tatiana Calderon, although Calderon is fighting back a little bit, but James Hunt gets up now into oh, a little bit wide there on the exit, a little bit wide. That gives Calderon the opportunity to try and get past, but no, she's still behind James Hunt at the moment. So we accelerate for another lap five, lap five, and he's putting the moves on Esteban Ocon, dies down the inside. In fact, that was a pretty clean move. Leaves some space as well as you can see the inside line which means that Ocon now takes the place back but I think James Hunt is now going to go tight to the inside line to the next one and gets the place once again so yes up into 17th place now for James Hunt next target is Kevin Magnussen as we accelerate for lap 5 there's K-Mag this time he's going to see if he can oh look at this K-Mag's darting all over the place but James Hunt's going to go to the outside line as we now go into the next lap lap 6 he gets past cleanly still once again leaving space for the car to the left hand side you can see from the red arrow but he managed to get passed up now into 16th position next target is Laurent Grosjean as we accelerate for now lap 7 there is Grosjean ahead of us he's got DRS but so has James Hunt he's going to sneak down the inside in the next corner as you can see he sneaks down yes gets past up into 15th place what a fight back this is from James Hunt what a fight back from his pretty lowly position on the grid has to be said as we accelerate for now to lap 8 there's Giovinazzi and of course the Alfa Romeo he's got the DRS open but James Hunt once again favours that outside line but look at this he's getting blocked off by Giovinazzi so he's going to have to see if he can dive down the inside of him yes he does is he going to get the place yes he does another clean move there from James Hunt up down to 14th position next target is George Russell ooh ah ooh ah ooh ah as we accelerate for us lap 9 lap 9 there is George Russell in 13th place at the moment but I think he's going to go for the move down the outside is it is George going to block him off yes he does so he goes oh bloody yeah, well, that was close always putting straight into the wall there but he managed to get past up now into 11th place now for James Hunt 11th position fantastic on lap 10 as we accelerate forward now still on lap 10 and you can see that cars have started to come in for their pit stop yes the soft runners are in so that means James Hunt's now going to come into 5th place 5th position at the moment for James Hunt wowzers me trousers well, just be trousers indeed as we accelerate forward into lap 11, still in fifth place, and more cars have come in, which means we are now going to go up into. Is it second? It's second position. The only car in front of us now is Lando Norris in, of course, the McLaren. But as you can also see on the top of the screen there, he's still on the soft tyre, so he's got to come in for his pit stop, which means that James Hunt could could go into the lead after this as we accelerate for lap 12 he goes past and yes Norris has come in for his pit stop so James Hunt now goes up into the lead he goes up into the lead what a fantastic call there the safety car absolutely saved this race for us 
and James Hunt goes into the lead on lap 13. He's got Hamilton behind us, so can he hold on? Can he hold on at the moment? Well, we accelerate forward to lap 18. It's the last lap of the race. He has managed to hold on, but only just because Hamilton's managed to clear a six-second deficit, and he's now right up the derriere of James Hunt, as you can see in the rearview mirrors. There are just a few more calls to go, but can James Hunt hold on to this first place, this win in our final round of the championship at Brazil for the My Team? Uh, James Hunt career mode with the Heskiff Racing Team. Okay, we come around now and I think he's going to do it. I think he is. Lulu's a little bit too far back now and the power has been plied on for James Hunt and he crosses the line in first place. Yes, fantastic. Get in there. That's it. Wow. Well, I have to say, without the safety car, that would definitely have not have been a first place. No, it wouldn't have been, but the safety car was just... And he gets driver of the day as well. Fantastic. The safety car, well, it just saved us. It just absolutely saved us. And there you go. The winner of the championship in season two was Maxi Boy Verstappen. Of course it was because he was miles out in front of everyone else. Miles out in front. Could he be doing this for real in 2021? We will see. We will see. But at the moment in virtual 2020, he did. And therefore, I think for the first time ever, there's our actual team on the uh, celebratory bit of the video. Yes, fantastic. That was our head of the team. I don't know who he is. No idea. And there is James Hunt. Yes, you did it, lad. You did it. First place. Fantastic. Fantastic indeed. And there are our own team mechanics. Wowzers. Absolute wowzers. And there, of course, is the championship winner, Maxi Boyer Verstappen. In the Red Bull. He's done it. He's bloody well done it. Yes, indeed. So there you go then. The championship for season two is now over. It's now over. Yes, it is. And there's the final points results. We've ended the championship with 125 points. Max Verstappen won the championship with 259. Okay, then. so now it's time for some more of that boring interview shit with Claire, isn't it? No, of course it's not, lads. Now, unfortunately, the grid girls have gone on holiday, so they're actually at their beach hut doing a little workout for us. I think that'll be good, won't it, lads? Oh, yes, here we go, lads. Nice little war. Oh, fucking hell. Fucking hell, lads. Fucking hell, yes, you can work out. Oh, bloody hell. Bloody, 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 bloody. Oh, God, she's dirty. She's bloody dirty, lads. She's bloody dirty indeed. She is, isn't she? That's it, girls. Shake those maracas. Shake those maracas. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. It's always important to limber up first before doing any kind of exercise. Otherwise, you may strain something vital. Something. Oh, she looks like she could strain something vital, doesn't she? Oh, my goodness. There's three of them. That's my favorite number. It really is. Yes. Three's my favorite. Oh, yes. Go on. Work it, girls. Work it. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I, 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 oh, my God. No, no. I think I'm getting very close to a conclusion now, lads. I think I'm... Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. We're, oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. Oh, getting old these days. Takes a bit longer. Oh, my God. No, oh, my God. Oh, 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 God. Oh, God. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, bloody yes. Oh, 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 oh. That was it. That was it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. You've been awesome as always. And as always, there will, of course, be more <laughs> later.